Hi friends, happy Friday. It is Friday and I have a new question. Do you guys read my question? It says, do you like, what is that? Sharks. Do you like sharks? What do you think? Yes or no? Mm, that's a tricky one. I don't know if I like sharks. I might have to think about it. You guys are gonna have to think about it and let me know too. I have a super special surprise for today. I have two books to read. We have one called Don't Eat the Teacher and Gilbert the Great. So we're gonna have two videos. The first one, the one I'm gonna do right now is Don't Eat the Teacher. Don't eat the teacher, come on, don't eat the teacher. This is by Nick Ward, are you guys ready? I don't know if I'm ready being a teacher. Hurry up, Sammy, his mother called. You'll be late. Sammy dived downstairs for his breakfast. It was his first day at school and he was very, very excited. He's coming down fast, you look at all those bubbles. But when Sammy became too excited, he had the unfortunate habit, as all young sharks do, of biting things. Sammy opened his mouth and crunch. Oh, Sammy, complained his mother, don't eat the table. Sorry, mom, blushed Sammy. He grabbed his school bag, kissed his mom, and swam out the door. Be a good boy, Sammy, cried his mother. Sammy and his dad drove down the street to Sammy's new school. In the playground where a group of children were playing tag. Excellent, Sam cried Sammy and dashed off to join. You're it, shouted a shrimp. You're it, cried a cod. You're it, how to howl. Haddock, Sammy opened his mouth and crunch. Oh, Sammy, the children moaned. Don't eat your school friends. Sorry, blushed Sammy. He hiccuped and politely swam out a little fish. Am, am I still it? The bell rang and all the fish swam off to their classroom. Eat the fish. I don't know. Good morning, children, beamed the teacher. Let's start the day with a really good story. Ooh, that's what we're doing. Excellent, thought Sammy, flapping his tail in excitement. Here we are, said the teacher. Here's a story we can really sink our teeth into. <sighs> Sammy opened his mouth and crunch. Oh, Sammy, cried the children. Don't eat our story. Sorry, blushed Sammy. Never mind, smiled the teacher. Let's try some painting instead. Splish, splash, Sammy loved painting. He was so excited, it was hard not to nibble his paintbrush. Finished, he called. Sammy, that's lovely, said the teacher. It looks good enough to eat. Sammy opened his mouth and crunch. Oh, Sammy, groaned the teacher. Sorry, blushed Sammy. Never mind, said the teacher, giving him a cuddle. It's music now. Music and movement, called the teacher. As I play the piano, I want you to all pretend you are seaweed swaying in a gentle current. Can you guys pretend you're seaweed? I'm seaweed, thought Sammy, drifting and stretching as elegantly as he could. The current is getting stronger, sang the teacher. The children start to dance even faster. You guys sway even faster. Now you are a terrible storm, the teacher cried. A terrible storm destroying everything in its path. I'm a terrible storm, Sammy yelled. He opened his mouth and crunch, crunch, crunch. Sammy Stop, yelled the children. Don't eat the, who is that? Oh dear, Sammy thought as he got ready to go home. 
I really didn't mean to. Tomorrow I'll be good, really, really good. Hello, darling, said Sammy's mother at the school gate. How was your first day at school? Er, excellent, said Sammy. And what did you learn today? Lots, blushed Sammy. Don't eat the stories. Don't eat the paintings. Don't eat the classroom. And don't eat the teacher. It says, don't eat your teacher. I don't want to be eaten. Please don't. Beep. And that was a pretty silly story. I'm glad I read it. And I'm glad that the teacher seemed like she was okay. She didn't get eaten all the way. All right, friends. That's all done for that story. So you can either stop and wait to watch the next one later. Or you can keep going and watch the next one now. Are you guys ready? This one is called Gilbert the Great. What's this one about? It's about another shark. From the time Gilbert the Great White Shark was a tiny pup, that's what a baby shark is called, Raymond the Bramora stuck to him like glue. Raymond was always at Gilbert's side. When Gilbert was stuck in the seaweed, Raymond untangled him. When Gilbert got dirty, Raymond cleaned him up. And when Gilbert lost his first row of teeth, Raymond helped him collect them for the tooth fairy. Gilbert and Raymond had lots of fun. They loved to play fin ball, tide and seek, and sardines. They shared everything. Then one day, Raymond told Gilbert that his family had to move across the ocean. I don't want to go, but mom says I have to, cried Raymond. As Raymond and his family swam away, Gilbert's mother hugged him tight and tried to comfort him. Oh man, how does Gilbert feel? He looks sad and upset and like he's missing his friend already. Raymond's my best friend, said Gilbert. Why did he have to go away? It's not fair. I know, said his mom, but his family couldn't just leave him behind. She kissed Gilbert on the snout. Go and play tide and seek with the pilot fish. It will keep your mind off Raymond. But Gilbert couldn't stop thinking about his friend. I want to move with Raymond, Gilbert said. He's moved too far away, said mom. We have to stay here. Let's go watch the basketball game. The thrashing threshers are playing the title tigers. Who do you want to win? Gilbert looked around. There were remoras everywhere, but none of them was Raymond. I don't care, he said, and he swam off before either side scored a basket. Poor Raymond. Poor Gilbert. It's my fault Raymond moved, Gilbert snapped as he passed an eel. Last week I called him a sucker. Do you think that's why Raymond left? I don't think so. You didn't make Raymond leave, Mom smiles. Everyone fights sometimes. The clownfish did their best to cheer Gilbert up, but nothing could make him smile. The next day at school, everyone was very kind to Gilbert. They even gave him an extra long turn on the seesaw. Cheer up, said Marvin the mallet. There's plenty of fish in the sea. There isn't another Raymond, said Gilbert. Gilbert was still sulking when mom came to pick him up from school. It's not the same without Raymond, Gilbert pouted. That night, Gilbert cried and cried and cried and his tears mingled with the ocean water. Oh man, poor Gilbert, he looks so upset. The next morning, mom took Gilbert gently by the fin and toward the shallow water. Rocked by the gentle waves, they gazed out at the seashore in the bright blue sky. I hope Raymond's new home is as nice as this, said Gilbert. I'm sure it is, said mom. I'm hungry, said Gilbert suddenly. We'll go to the wreck, Mom said. Gilbert's eyes lit up. They didn't usually go to the wreck. 
mom didn't like me junk food that's silly the wreck is junk food scrunch munch crunch as gilbert was biting into a pile of tin cans and old boat bits he spotted a small remora flying in the shadows Uh oh who's this one gilbert stopped crunching and swam towards her what's the matter gilbert asked mom and i moved and i had to leave my shark behind she sobbed now i don't have any friends my remora had to move too said gilbert sadly i'm so lonely gilbert and the remora looked at each other and smiled wobbly smiles i'm gilbert said gilbert i'm rita replied the remora just then a ray of sunlight filtered through the deep blue ocean gilbert's teeth flashed as he grinned a big grin do you want to play finball with me rita he asked sunlight danced in rita's eyes i'd love to she said and the two new friends swam off to find a ball to play with the end did gilbert make a new friend he did everything's okay oh i'm glad gilbert found a friend i was almost very sad for him all right friends thank you for reading with me and happy friday we got to read two stories for friday don't forget to answer the question do you like sharks i think after reading those stories i think yes i like sharks I want to see what you guys think. So make sure that moms and dads or brothers and sisters or whoever is helping you let Miss Diani know yes or no so we can see how many. All right, friends, have a good weekend. See you next time.